princess. Welcome aboard Jupiter. This is our first talking video, so I thought we'd better introduce ourselves and also the boat. So I'm an Australian. I started sailing when I was in high school on uh, dinghies and then I started crewing on other people's bigger boats before I got my first trailer sailor and beach cat and I had two keel boats, uh, a smaller catamaran and now this one which really is my dream boat so should be my last one I hope. What about you? I'm a Filipina. Jamie and I met in China where I was a lounge singer. Uh, I basically lived in a hotel for three years in China and got to know Princess pretty well. Sailing? And I started sailing December 2018 here on Jupiter. Yeah. So Jupiter was born 2015 I think I was launched and in the Philippines. It's an Australian design and the designer Tim Mumby built it for me in the Philippines. It took about four years to build. So why don't we have a look around? Let's go. Okay so let's start on the outside. I was searching high and low for many years looking for a performance cruising catamaran. They're actually very rare. Uh, most cats are made for the charter market so they're actually closer to being luxury apartments than they are to sailing boats. Uh, when I came across this design, oh stop, cut, cut, let's go back, back, okay. When I came across this design, it's an Australian designer, Tim Mumby, and the design is called a Cyber 48. 48 foot long and a quick boat because of its streamlined shape and dagger boards for upwind performance. But first I want to show you the hulls. You can see a very narrow hull beam. It's a very skinny hull, so it goes pretty quick. You'll also notice here I'm about to show you the bridge deck clearance. That's the height of the bridge deck above the water. On this boat it's about uh, 80 centimeters or I think maybe 8 to 0 millimeters. So that minimizes slamming when you're out in the uh, big seas. Dagger boards. These are so easy to operate. I've seen a lot where you have to winch them up and down. But these, they're buoyant, they're full of air. It's actually a little hard to push them down and keep them down unless there's pressure from uh, windward sailing. In this case, I tie it down like that. Once there's pressure on it, they stay down by themselves. And to uh, retract them, the buoyancy does most of the work and uh, muscle does the rest and it's really quite light. You can see uh, solar panels on the bimini here. Our boom, uh, I had modified, put the wing bars on there to take the weight of the mainsail. The main is uh, quite heavy, it's a heavy cloth, it's full batten main, so it's quite uh, a bit of weight there. Previous design was uh, the sunbrella bag would take all the weight of that sail. And over four years or so, I think I ripped it about six times. So this design, the wings hold all the weight of the sail and all the sunbrella does is simply keep it out of the sun. So you can see nice uncluttered decks. The prodder increases the J measurement, the forward measurement from the mast, so we can fly the screecher or the spinnaker. These whisker stays are very strong, Dyneema. And I can even show you how to retract the pole. We actually just raise it. Oh, here I am now. Just releasing the downhaul lines or the whisker lines. And I've got the halyard attached to the end of the prodder, so simply take in the slack. So all the halyards come to the mast that they do not run back to the cockpit. Uh, that means going forward, sometimes in some bad weather, to deal with that. There's pros and cons, of course. Um, I wanted simplicity. 
and also minimum drag on the, the blocks. So uh, I'm happy with them at the mast. No plans uh, to change it. My primary anchor here is the Rockner 33. Uh, kept the midships so away from the forward beam. Keep the weight of the chain in the middle of the boat. Jupiter has a single helm position and you can see all four corners of the boat. Some catamarans have two helms so that you can see that much, uh, which means duplicating steering and of course instruments. I, I just want to show you a great design on this boat is the kick up rudder. Uh, if you were out sailing and you hit uh, a log uh, or any obstruction, a whale perhaps, on the rudder, then the rudders will break. This, this is the rudder post. You can see it's on a swivel so it can kick upwards. This uh, wood is normally banged down hard, uh, flush, but I've taken it mostly out just for this demonstration. So this would break, snap. The rudder post would be pushed aft. A bit hard for me to do, but the cassette goes out backwards and the rudder has kicked up. Now th this is great for uh, accessing your rudder too for any repairs. Pretty good, huh? Pretty good, huh? Garden. Yeah. <laughs> That's my kids. <laughs> yeah. Barbecue. We normally put that away when we're sailing. And we don't normally have all these luxuries when we're sailing either. In fact, even the awnings we take down mostly. Well, come on in. This is the saloon on the bridge deck cabin. Um, I hope you realize that uh, it doesn't normally look like this and we've spent half a day cleaning it just for you. Okay, so uh, one of the things I love about this table, apart from the beautiful craftsmanship, is that we can drop the legs down by half and make a massive bed, which we do for passage. So uh, I can sleep here while Princess is on the helm. And she's only two or three meters away from me can wake me up at any time. You've got to have flat screen TV, don't you? All right, come down the port hull. This is basically my workshop um, and taken off the dirty covers and actually it's still quite clean but uh, these are all my tools all through here um, even a brand new boat needs a lot of tools to keep it uh, running and upgrades etc so I've got electrics in here I've got uh, lots of aerosols and engine stuff in there a lot of tools in there stuff that there's no room to fit anywhere else here is all the power tools. Just so much stuff. Got a cloak closet behind the daggerboard case. This is the daggerboard case. So we've got a little bit of space there for hanging. Uh, sewing machine, using that more and more. This is the port aft quarter berth. It's a queen size, um, quite comfy. Too much stuff, stuff in here though. Under here is the port engine. I can show you just quickly. I'll show you another time the access, which is really great on this boat, but uh, that's the port engine. Okay. 
else I show you? My DIY water maker. All this stuff, most of the 90% of this stuff, just bought from my hardware. Uh, and it's a great performer, it makes about 250 litres an hour. I'll show you that one day all by itself as well. We'll make a video on that, yeah? Let's go forward. Laundry. Come rope stowage. We've just got, we've got sails here. Just the storm jib and the spinnaker behind there and then just a bunch of ropes. Uh, one of the greatest luxuries to have on a boat if you can fit it in. We've got this uh, front loader here and never a problem doing our laundry. Especially since we've got the water maker to make water for it. Go yeah, have a look up forward there. That's uh, the port side head which is basically the same as the other side. All fully sealed and waterproof. Uh, yes, you get the toilet wet, but that's all right. You can clean it at the same time. Let's have a look the other side. Nav station, which these days you don't really use charts. So, but I can. I've got paper charts under here. And when I'm on passage, I will have a... Uh, small scale chart so that I can plot our position every 24 hours uh, all that stuff but normally I have computer sitting up here computers plugged into the NEMA 2000 network so I can see real-time wind etc uh, switch panel nothing much else I guess I should show you uh, this is a battery monitor for the lithium cells and uh, I can't show you that right now <laughs> it's covered in shit under there but we'll make a video on lithium cells okay starboard side have the galley always a toss up for a catamaran especially if you're having it built for you is galley up or galley down uh, a lot of people like galley up for the social aspect. You can stand up on the bridge deck, talk to the people in the cockpit or the saloon uh, while you're cooking. But most boats are not built like this. Because it's aluminium and very stiff, you can have this all open. So my galley down is huge. I could never have that up there. If I did, I wouldn't have a saloon. Uh, I can stand here. I can talk to the helmsman. Come here, let's have a look down there. So I can be cooking, or Princess can be cooking, talking to the helmsman. I can see right over the, into the saloon, completely open. So the galley down makes perfect sense here. Standard uh, storage for food, etc. We've got a mini fridge up here, which is very inefficient. So we don't use it much when we're on passage. Daggerboard case again, so this time we've got some just storage behind. Uh, we've got opening ports, so when you're cooking, you can let all out the gas. Three burner gas stove. We've only chosen a microwave so far, but one day we will. One day we'll get a gas oven. Use in the marina power, we're using the induction cooker nearly always to save on gas. Making uh, bone broth right now. Aft, again, a queen size cabin. Um, don't plan on having that many guests on board, so this is our storage. Uh, up here is something interesting. It's a series drogue, which I made, and uh, I think we'll do a video on that later too. Starboard engine under here, just the same as the other side. This is uh, our main fridge, really. It's a chest freezer. Uh, I don't run it as a freezer. We just keep the power low and we just use it as a general fridge. I put it back here because there was space. I didn't want to be cutting up the benches with uh, refrigeration doors. So as you can see, lots of bench space, which makes it really nice. Let's have a look forward. 
This is the master cabin where we spend half our time. Um, queen size again, uh, even a bit longer than queen. Can't buy a mattress longer, so it's fine. Oh, and who's this? This is uh, Princess's workbench. And if you go forward, it is just a replica of the other side. Electric head, shower, base. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our episode. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up and subscribe and notification and push everything except for that one and delete <laughs> and don't turn your computer off. Thank you. Ready? <laughs> what are you going to do? Rolling. Okay. Hi, I'm Jamie. I'm Princess. Welcome aboard Jupiter. <laughs> what happened? Do it again. Can we do, say it again together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm Jamie. Hi, and I'm <laughs> It's gotta be the same volume, B. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jamie. Wait! You say what? Rolling! What? Can you say rolling? Game. Okay. <laughs> Your eyes are all red. <laughs> so, where are you from? I'm a Filipina and Australian. <laughs> <laughs>